I'm going to use my Vitamix again, and I use this thing multiple times in the day. It's become a really good friend in my kitchen. It saves me from extra washing up. It's quick, it's simple to use. And what we're going to make for lunch today is some tomato soup. We're going to roast up some tomatoes, pop them in the dish, any oven dish will do. And we're going to add some sliced up onions. It doesn't matter how finey or how chunky. Keep it a little bit more on the chunky side because you're going to be roasting these vegetables so they're going to be robust and you don't want them to just wither away and disintegrate because they're too small. I'm going to add some garlic cloves. Now the trick with this is keep the skins on. Just add them straight into a dish. A little bit of salt and pepper, freshly ground pepper of course, and a bit of sea salt. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil onto that. Don't be shy with the olive oil, it's good for you. Some bay leaves. And voila, into the oven. Mmm, delicious. Our tomatoes are caramelized, the onions are golden, and now it's time to put it into the jug. Now I've taken the garlic and I've squeezed it out of the skins and I've put it back into the dish. I've removed all my bay leaves. And now what I've got is a bowl to put under my jug as I pour all these beautiful vegetables into the Vitamix jug. Now you remember what I said. This is an easy dish. It's from oven to blender to bowl. I'm going to whisk it up a little bit first, and then we're going to add some fresh basil and some goat's milk cheese, and then check the seasoning and eat it. Easy as that. So I'm just stir. And I'm going to add my fresh basil again through the top. Oh, look at that steam. Yeah. And then I'm going to add some goat's milk cheese. The goat's milk cheese is optional, and you can add it if you want a little bit of a creamier soup. Drop it in like that, and I'm going to turn it in. Soup in minutes. Let's dish this up and see how it is. Oh, look at that. Now, if your soup's a little thicker than what you want it to be, just add a bit of warm water to it, and there you go. Now, the last bit, so just to make this look a little bit cheerful, we're going to sprinkle on some goat's milk cheese for decoration, and also as it melts into the heat of the soup, it just oozes in. So, I've made my soup, I've rinsed out the jug, now I'm going to chop up some parsley. Pop it in like that, and then pull that through the strainer. And voila! We have char parsley. So you can just squeeze out the extra water, sprinkle it on, and there's the soup done. Beautiful. Mmm, steamy, creamy, delicious. I am so happy with the soup that I have made today in my Vitamix. I've made smoothies. I've made soups, chopped up herbs, and it's all using fresh produce and of course my Vitamix. Vitamix, remember the name.